this is the first time I ever bought an expansion pack on the day it came out. Um, I just, I really liked the lots that it gave in terms of build mode, because if you've been watching my channel, if you've seen my other Sims videos, you know that I'm really into the building aspect of the Sims. So, right now, what I'm going to be building is, um, I'm going to be, well, re be recreating sort of, um, the, one of the, like, those villas, those bungalow things, they have at Disney World's Polynesian Resort, like, this build is loosely based off of, uh, based off of it, um, it's not an exact replica, of course, but, I mean, it's not different enough where I can say, like, oh, this is my own original idea, because for this one, um, I did look at a floor plan for, um, the bungalow, uh, just because I, really like the design and I wanted to see if I could try to recreate it now that we have these water lots. So right now I'm working on the bathroom. I'm just trying to figure out wall placement and everything. Um, I think the walls do change a little bit. Um, yeah. So I'm really, this was, I'm somewhat impressed with, actually no. So I've some mixed feelings about this pack. Um, for, it was $40, so it is an expansion pack. Um, I bought it primarily for the build mode and all the stuff it gives you in build mode because it gives you a lot. Um, just being, that just being said, and then I mainly bought it for the lots, like I said, but in terms of actual gameplay, like the ocean itself is cool, but it's very like one dimensional if that makes sense so I have mixed feelings about it um, so if you're into building I would I'd recommend it um, just for the lots because the lots are pretty cool but if you're not as much into building you're more into actual gameplay um, maybe hold off until it's on sale so right now I'm building a shower because it came with like this freestanding shower finally without any glass um, I still wish it they didn't have the one with it, that it could do without the base. Um, so it would look like an actual, so I could make g giant showers. Um, just because that's kind of like a standard of luxury, luxury hotels. Um, I've never stayed in Disney's Polynesian, um, villa thing, bungalow things. Goes over like, there are Disney Vacation Club members, which is their timeshare. And I don't live in Florida. I've only been to Disney. Um, twice in my entire life, so it just doesn't make sense as to why I, why we would be timeshare owners, so we are not timeshare owners, so yeah, um, I'm currently, I'm just going through, I'm trying to find a good cabinets, uh, they did, so that's from Perfect Patio, but they did include, yeah, that's that one, they did include this kind of islandy cabinet, but my complaint about it is that it does not have a matching upper cabinet. So you're just working with the bottom, which can be a little boring. Well, it doesn't, it's difficult to match, which you will see me struggle with in the kitchen. So I just buy some sinks. And now I'm looking for a mirror that fits it. Um, instead, I decide just to use the move objects sheet and just create a giant mirror using the floor to ceiling mirrors. Oh wait, no, I guess I didn't. No, I did not do that. Instead, I went back to the single oh, yeah. spa day mirror. Um, I apologize if there's some background noise, uh, especially my, the fans for my computer are on, which you can probably hear, because uh, I'm doing this in iMovie, and I mean, my computer is it's pretty it's pretty decent. It's a pretty it's a really good computer, but still. Um, editing takes, ed ed like, editing always makes the fans run. Um, uh, yeah. So, I just added a light fixture. One thing I really do like about this pack, in terms of, like, the build by mode stuff, is they came out with these doors, like, those sliding barn doors. Um, you can see it's covering up the toilet area. I love these doors. I've been using them in every single one of my builds ever since. Um, they're just, they're, I'm so glad they added sliding doors to The Sims. Um, 
like we had those other ones before that they gave us in the, the free patch, but um, they were like doors that just slide. They put that is in the exterior of your house, not necessarily interior. So I really love these. Next, I'm adding um, some towel, like a towel rack. I think I spent most of the time in the bathroom, um, like designing it, designing the bathroom. Um, yeah. So, uh, full disclosure, I did build this house. Uh, this would be my second time building it. Um, I've built three with it the whole, I've built three, but like this is my third time building it. But my second time building the same exact style of house because I built two exact houses. Like I built one and I just copied and pasted it over um, for a larger lot um, because I was experimenting with trying to make a resort. Um, yeah. So right now I'm resizing everything. Um, just because I realized I placed some stuff wrong. So for this room, I decided to go for like a blue theme. Like a, br a very bright styled room. Um, th yeah. In terms of decoration and all that. Um, yeah, so now I'm just going through and just trying to find uh, a good like wall accessory, a good painting to sort of tie the room together a little bit. And yeah, I go with that one because it's it's fun. I like the abstract that came with Dine Out. Um, yeah. So, like I said, I did look at the floor plan of the official um, villas that Disney World has. So they have like this balcony, not this balcony thing, but this separate area. Um, that's why I just placed that door. But I did, le I did interpret it to my own. So don't think that this is like completely unoriginal or something because um, I did take a few creative liberties, especially in this one because this one's not a replica. I did make a replica, but um, earlier, and like I said, when I was making the resort, yeah, but these, this is no, this one's just like, it's based off of it, but it's my own, it's my own take, I guess, because I tried to make this one a little more modern, um, I guess. I'm a fan of a more modern style, so, yeah, um, that's just a little bit about me. Um, also, this video's going to be a little bit of a ramble, just an FYI. Um, I do plan on making another German ASMR video very soon. Um, I have a few ideas, so do keep on the lookout for that. Um, so right now, I'm just trying to find, I think, I, I just, I'm looking for a desk. I don't know what I'm doing. Why am I placing cabinets? Um, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, that's right, I was thinking about possibly like trying to build a cabinet uh, using the cabinet cabinet counters um, to create a desk but um, this yeah I wasn't quite sure where I wanted some things because um, this is when I realized I should probably place the door first and make it a lot easier um, I am using the door from seasons just because I think it kind of matches the feel I wanted to go for um, yeah. So, um, what am I doing now? Now, now okay, now I'm finally adding the desk. I went for the, this one's also from Seasons. Try to go for a little bit of, like, um, organic look with that one. Just because it has, looks like it has, like, little tree branches almost. Um, and of course a wicker chair. That's from, the, that's from Island Living. So, um, next, I'm, I think I'm adding a fan, yeah, I added a fan, because in Sulani, it's pretty hot in terms of temperature, because you're in the tropics, obviously, but, yeah, so the world itself is pretty, it's okay, I don't know, I, I like the pack, but at the same time, I think it could have been downgraded to a, um, more of a, like a game pack, not necessarily an expansion pack, um, obviously they won't do that because it's EA and they love their money, but, um, I don't know, just 
just like looking back, I don't know if how much, if you really get much bang for your buck, um, in terms of like new gameplay, like the ocean, the ocean and stuff, that's really neat, it's pretty, but it's also very one, one dimensional, like, you can't go in, your sims can go underwater, but you, as a camera, it's, you can't really go underwater, it's, yeah, just the whole, and then when they go diving, they just disappear, like, they're gone, they just disappear, so it's sort of like when you send them to work, and they just kind of disappear for a few hours, um, and you're just kind of staring at an empty lot, I mean, like, like I said, I bought this pack, um, mainly for the build mode stuff, but I'm also going to talk about a few other things, um, uh, okay, so in my opinion, the mermaids are really lame, um, I really wasn't a huge, like, the mermaids, I didn't really care much about to begin with, but like I put, I, I tested them out because they were um, advertised in the trailer, so I was like, you know, let's try these out. Um, and they're they're okay, I guess. Uh, um, yeah, they're just kind of they're okay. I wasn't so you know how in vamp if you, if you play The Sims, you know how in the vampires um, ex game pack how you, and how you had like that sort of um, tree like that tree type thing where you could pick your powers and all that there really wasn't there's was not anything like that at all in the mermaid with the mermaids um, they have like some powers but they're they're lame I was really disappointed with them actually uh, I thought like really forty dollars for this it, it, it seems like they should have developed it a little bit more but whatever it's fine um it is an expansion pack so it's not like that it was like called um sims 4 mermaids so it's not like mermaids were the sole feature of it but it's just a little i don't know i don't think mermaids part was like as great as they tried to make it uh well it's just like when they go in water they suddenly uh grow up to get a fish tail and then you can change them around okay so going back to the build um this is where I forgot to add lights in the other room, so I'm doing that. Um, now I'm furnishing this other bedroom and this bedroom. Um, I think this one this is the one where I decided I want to go for more of like an islandy feel, because the other one was really modern and could have been like a bedroom in someone's si in a city or something. But this one I really wanted to try to capture the feel of I'm on an island paradise type of thing. Um, and, yeah. Um, another thing about the pack was the conservationist career. I thought that's kind of cool. Um, I d was impressed with that, because it's, uh, sort of like you directly saw the impact of your Sims career on the world. So that was, that was cool to see. Um, I did add another bed to this bedroom, um, just because, so, in with, the, with like the official floor plan, they have these folding out beds of cabinet from cabinets, um, but you can't do that in The Sims, so I had to simulate it. Um, I am placing a fan, uh, another fan. It, yeah, or maybe I maybe I decided not to in this room. Yeah, I decided not to because there was no way I could get it to work with the light that I wanted. Um, and then I'm just placing some fun wall art. Um, yeah. So, I should add a mirror. Um, oh, right there, okay. So, I tried like three times to get the floor, to copy the flooring, and finally I, I got it, but yeah. Um, okay. So, another thing is the stilted foundations. I want to talk about that, um, with being the build mode thing. One of the things that kind of drew me into it, I really liked with the, um, I would, like I said, I bought this pack primarily for the build mode and then the lots, because I thought it was cool how you could build right into the water. Um, and I really like, I really like the stilted foundation, um, that did not come with a pack, that came in the free patch. So you can get the stilted foundation for free. Um, and I have used the stilted foundation elsewhere. For example, like, I was building in Windenburg uh, on the island, on the island, in like the wilderness area, and I made 
made like this little lodge, uh, like a treehouse type style of lodge. So I thought that was kind of cool, and, and so you can still use the stilts in other ways. Like it doesn't it just have to be in water. So right now I'm starting on the second, 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 second. This one, this so this bathroom is like literally nothing like the one in the official floor plan. Um, I just because I it, I thought it was the one in the floor plan, like it worked in real life, but it just didn't work in The Sims. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, that's I guess that's about all I can say about why it's different. Um, so yeah, so like. I, because I couldn't find out a way, I couldn't find a way to place the sink where I wanted, because I wanted it there, um, and it was just, it just wasn't working with the official floor plan, so this is start, sort of where I started being like, you know what, screw it, I'm just going to go for it, um, so I did, this bathroom is my own, which, I guess, so I'm, I'm creating these little closet spaces just to seal off the door. Um, area because I felt like I had some dead space that I wanted to fill. Um, so the other day I was going through my older, like my old, old builds from The Sims, and that's when I was like really into building enormous mansions and all that. And there is so much dead space. I like the kitchen is just way too big. It, it just, it just felt awkward. Um, that's kind of why now I like building smaller things, just because it's easier to manage that dead space, and I have a better, um, way of managing it. Plus, I, th I I don't know, I think building some smaller lots can be really fun. You can do some really fun things with them, in terms of design, and just trying to make, just making sure that your sims make the best of the space, and there's no wasted space, because that's a problem that, um, I often run into when I'm building uh, larger lots is I don't know what to put. Part of it is because of my own floor plans, because a lot of my floor plans um, involve open concept flooring, um, which is okay. Um, in terms, I am a big fan of open concept in real life, but in The Sims it works. But this, but there's just a lot of dead space. But maybe it's just how I build. I don't know. Um, I saw somewhere there's a, there's like two different types of sim players, like the builders and then the people who like are actually really into the families and all the, and the actually playing the game. I'm more into a builder and more into the building side of things, but I, like I've said before, I do play the game. Um, so yeah. Um, now I'm just going back to the front and I'm adding the this fence. Um, I, yeah, that came with Island Living. It's kind of a cool events. I haven't I tried to use it anywhere else. Um, I think, but I think you can you could get it to work in a different style of building, maybe an art artistic style. Um, yeah. So right now, I don't know what I'm what I was doing. Um, I think I was just kind of trying to f look at the floor plan from like multiple angles. But yeah, I don't know. Um, now I'm trying to add, like, yeah, so I'm adding some backsplash, or some tiling, um, into each room. Yeah. I'm just finishing up the bathroom. And, yeah, so this build took me about an hour total. Um, you're watching a sped up version of it, so it's, you're just like the 34 minutes and 16 seconds of actual footage. Sims. It's fun. I, I, I like building things. It's fun to just play around and, and all that. For some reason, oh, this is when I realized I didn't add any rugs in the bathroom. Which, um, and I hate having puddles in The Sims. I hate, hate having puddles in the bathroom on The Sims. So, I did have to add, add those bath mats, but I chose the wooden ones because I like the wooden one, wooden ones. Um, from a spot, I, I don't really use them that much, but they worked really well in this setting. 
so yeah and then um i don't know sometimes i'm the sim sometimes i just click land random buttons on the on the mouse um so yeah i apparently did at the toilet i, I was when i was just re re when i'm recording this audio um i was like did i even re remember to place the toilet um but apparently i did another thing i had to do was i kept forgetting about lighting a lot usually i'm really good about that but with this build i just didn't think about lighting at all um so i had to go back through and add lighting again so next i started on the back area which is going to be the kitchen and living room area so i love these sliding doors so much these double sliding doors because so we, you know we got those sliding some sliding doors in the free patch um i don't really use them i they never reached the full height of the wall they have like the small wall and these do and i love that so much because i built a lot of builds with floor to ceiling glass windows and i did whenever i tried the sliding door it looked weird because they wouldn't they wouldn't match up with the other ones um yeah and we finally have ones that match i'm so so glad um so this is what I was talking about when I said like the cabinets don't match at all um, with the wood and then just with this general style. Um, maybe, maybe there's like some other ones that would most likely match from like Cool Kitchen or Parenthood, but I don't have either of those packs. Um, if you have Parenthood, let me know how you what you think of it because I'm not quite sure if I want to get it or not. Um, because like I don't know, I don't. Usually, so the white when I play The Sims, I kind of focus on my adult Sims, and then the kids. Um, I don't know. I I don't like having to attend to every single one of their little need, like because usually I give my Sims like two or three kids just for fun, but then sometimes the the kids can get really needy. Um, yeah. So, this, so the floor going back to the build. So yeah, going back to the the parent of my parenthood rant, um, just let me know if it's if you think it's worth it, because um, I don't want to make it like where the, I don't, like how much does it take over gameplay? Like does it make it where you you're, when you're the parent it's like a burden? Because I don't want it to be a burden. I still want it to be enjoyable. So going back to the build, um, I if you saw I the floor plan had like that extended part of the balconies, or not balcony, I'm calling it a balcony, the, the base, like the dock thing, um, yeah, so I'm going back through, and then, um, I'm re, I'm adding a kitchen table, um, looking back, I don't know how I feel about that color of wood, as the day, on the table, it's from Perfect Patio, but, I don't know how I like it, I'm not exactly a huge fan of it, I've decided, I don't know. It's red. It matches the cabinets, I guess. Um, I mean, I think eventually the whole room did pull together. It looked really nice in the end. Um, yeah. So I'm just adding some more decorations. This is where um, I decided to go with some fun paneling instead of that ugly wall paint. Um, I don't know. I, I don't like doing solid color walls, but I had to just in terms, because I mean, there's only so much, so much you can, so, so much of paneling that you can do. Um, but yeah, okay. So now I'm just going through and just looking at um, what, what things would look best in terms of that wall, because that wall is supposed to be an accent wall. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I do eventually end up changing it. Um, you will see in the final photos that I did change a few things. Um, I'm probably going to go back there and change that table color, because looking back, I kind of hate it. It doesn't match. Why did... But don't tell me I kept the blue. Did I keep the blue? Oh, if, what was I thinking? It does not match the cabinets. That looks bad. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, I will fix that for you in the final photos, because I do not like that. Um... So, anyway, going back to the living room, I've added a fireplace, 
a pretty modern one. That one's from um, the Get Together uh, expansion pack. Um, yeah, I so now I'm just trying to add some fun furniture. Uh, I, I debated with myself for a good amount of time as whether or not I wanted to put the patio furniture inside, like the perfect patio furniture. But I think I, I did decide to go with it. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, the color scheme is blue. I need to change the cabinet color and the table color then. Because in this, in this room, the theme is white and blue, it looks like, as I can act with white, with the blue as an accent. And that red just is not working for me. That really bothers me that I did that. Usually I'm pretty good about, um, catching, like, color clashes. But that really clashes. And I, I apologize for that. Uh, but yeah, so next I'm just trying to add some, trying to find the right wall art. Um, I'm pretty sure I just ended up using the ship. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I know I do end up using the ship from the other room. Um, I, I repeat, repeat, no, I did maybe with the shelves. Take out these, like, fake shelves. I like these fake shelves, they're kind of cool. These fake liquid oil things. I did add some windows there just because I felt like maybe I should. Um, so you get some more views of the ocean. Um, I'm pretty sure you can place this, you could place this lot on, like, an ocean-themed lot. On, do, like, a normal lot. Um, yeah, because the only thing that would really change would be the foundation. Right? Oh, I guess I went with that classic blue door photo. I really, or not photo painting, I really like that painting. Um, it's fun. It's a good piece that ties it all together. And I'm going for a glass coffee table, it looks like. So, it looks like now I'm finally moving on to the exterior. Finally. Um, this is when it really starts to just kind of tie together. So I'm first I'm adding these posts, because I'm preparing to add the roof, I believe. Um, oh, like I said, I forgot to do the lighting again. So, this is me going back through to find the lighting. I should move that. And looking back now, I think I should move down that painting. Like, the, the door painting, it do, it's not centered, right? In terms of height. Um, yeah. So, I used... I realized I kept using the same light fixture. So I just try to change that um, by using a different one. Oh my gosh, that looks so bad. I'm really sorry. Um, it will not look this bad in the final photos. Um, so I'm just adding a few more appliances at the moment um, because something happened. Because I decided to go build when I built wall by wall, it did not build a ceiling, so I do have to put that in. But now I'm trying to find a rug that ties the that works with the color scheme. Um, I think I just went with the did I go with the plain white one. Yeah, I went with the or maybe I didn't. Oh, I kind of like that rug. Another reason to change the orange that looks so bad. Maybe I can make it like white or a light, um, like a lighter type of wood, like more of a birch. I feel like that would work because the sand and everything. So, um, now I'm finally adding the exterior paint. And I think this is really when the build started to take some shape to me personally. Um, yeah. So I'm build going back through and adding the ceiling because I didn't do that beforehand. Because um, I kind of built in a really different way than I usually build. Usually I build room by room, but like room by room. But in this case, I built wall by wall. Um, and then, so you did just see that one thing come up, but that was um, just because I wanted to see what it looked like from like the front. Um, so I'm just double checking lighting, and then I think this is when I realized that some of the lighting is a little low in some places. So I went back there with my go to light, which is, it's like, I don't know what it's called, but you know, you, you saw what it was. It's that silver one. Um, and I just placed that around. So now I'm looking for some more wall art, like some tiki art. I went with, I think 
it's tiki. I don't know. I actually don't know what it is. Um, I apologize if I said it was tiki and it wasn't. I don't want. I don't want to offend anyone. Um, yeah. So I am adding some more lighting to the kitchen because it looks kind of creepy. Um, Next, I am adding a fence. So, on like the official um, Disney World ones, they have these, uh, these this area for a pool, like a little private pool. But you can't build um, pools on water lots. Um, so, it did not let me do that. Um, I think an another thing I did add was uh, at the ability to actually swim in the ocean um, at that ladder because. You can't do that on the, um, at the real Disney World because they don't let you swim in their lake. Um, so instead of a pool, I did place a hot tub from Perfect Patio. Perfect, 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 perfect. Patio, 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 patio. But um, I went with that one. I went with the one that matched, uh, like, that looked at kind of like a wood, I guess. And then I think I did end up moving the, um, this, not staircase, the ladder thing. Ladder, ladder, not ladder thing, ladder. And then, um, I'm putting these little seats in the, um, I would call it a clove, I guess. In the a clove, al or alcove. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um. And then a little indentation area, and then some lounge chairs. I really like these lounge chairs. Um, they're much nicer than the ones we got in the patch. Um, the ones in the patch are good and all, but they look plastic. And this build is try is like kind of supposed to be a luxury home. I'm kind of for like a wealthy sim because I think this is cost, ended up costing over like a hundred hundred thousand hundred forty thousand simoleons, if I am correct. So, I think I am finally now adding the roof. Um, I did play around with the roof shape a little bit earlier, so I kind of knew how I wanted to do the roof, I believe, um, to kind of give it that, the look I was going for. Um, yeah, so I, and then I picked the thatched, thatched roof. Um, because I really like the way it looks. It's so cool. And then I'll even show you what it looks like in the interior. Because um, they furnish the, the, they're on the interior as well. It looks really neat. It really, really ties the build together. It really sells the Polynesian style look. I think. Um, at least that's my opinion. And then I'm going, for, I'm looking for, yeah. Um, I'm just trying to find like a good look for the front. Okay. This is where, yeah, I found, I found the accent wall that I wanted. I, yeah, I just added it. Um, I'm really proud of this build overall. Um, I think it was really fun to do and try to recreate um, a real life building. I've never done that before in The Sims, so it was a fun challenge. So these final photos were taken when it was raining during the night. So, yeah. Um, but I'm just going to talk over it. Um, I'm not going to really talk much about the final photos or much or anything, but overall I'm pretty proud of how this ended up looking. Um, I thought it was a very fun build. I really enjoyed building the, I really enjoyed building in Solani in general, but I really enjoyed building the style, um, because it was a little bit different from what I usually do, because like I've said, I usually do like hyper modern stuff, but this is different. Um, I really liked it. Definitely would recommend um, someone else tries recreating some other um, some other building. Yeah, it was really, it was just a really rewarding experience just to um, see it all come together. Um, yeah, I really liked building this. Um, I think it really captured a fun spirit from Disney and brought it into The Sims. So yeah, um, thank you for watching and the, um, please 
please subscribe, like, and comment. Um, Alright, I will see you in the next one.